Hi, this is Jimmy Abaddon, and in this video you're going to learn how to install DirectX 11 mod for the game Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition. This mod will not only give you a better renderer, but also higher texture and resolution, which means that you have access to higher resolution such as up to 4K. To follow along in this tutorial, please download the mod in the video description below. Once you download the zip file for the mod, it will look like the zip file on my desktop to the right. On the desktop to the right, you'll see my zip file is named d3d11drv.zip. Make sure it's exactly the same zip file, otherwise it won't work. I'm going to go ahead and drag the zip file to the left side of my desktop. Now I'm going to right click this and I'm going to extract here. This will extract the files and now I have the file of my mod here. I'm going to double click this this will be my mod files. Now that I've opened my mod files, you'll see that I have the common folder, an Unreal Tournament 436, and of course a screenshot if you want to see what the game will look like once the mod is finished. But of course you'll see once the game is running anyways. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this PC to open up my file explorer to the right. And then these are all my hard drives. I'm going to go ahead and click on the hard drive where my games are installed. In this case, the hard drive I want to click on is game. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then click on Steam Library. This is where all my Steam games would be installed. So I'll click on Steam Library and then I'll click on Steam Apps. And then I'm going to click on Common. This is where all my games are installed from Steam. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and look for Unreal Tournament folder. Here it is. Here's the folder to my game. Once I click it, this is where I want to be. Once you get here, you're ready to start modding. Again, on the left side, we have the mod folder, and then on the right side, we're inside the games folder. For the game folder, let's open up system folder right here. Once you open this, on the left side where the mod folder is, click on common. Now, drag all of these, all three of these, right click hit cut and then on the right side right click and hit paste okay you'll see that on the left side mod folder is empty that means that all the files have been transferred to the game folder good we're done with the mod folder here but we're not completely finished so let's go back now do you see where it says Unreal Tournament 436? We open up this folder and now we're going to highlight all of these, these two things, we're going to highlight them all. We're going to right click and click on Cut. Once you click on Cut on the right side of the screen where the game folder is, right click and hit Paste. Now you can see that the, the mod files has been transferred from the mod folder to the game folder. This means that the mod folder is completely empty, there's nothing inside it, it's worthless now. I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because there's nothing inside it anymore that I need. I also don't need the zip file anymore at this point. Okay, so now that we're done installing the mod, I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Open up Steam. Click on the game and hit play. Now if this is your first time launching this game and you haven't actually launched it before, this window will pop up. Now don't worry if you already launched the game before. I'll show you how to do this in a different way. For those who haven't launched this game, very simple. Click on show all devices. Click on direct 3D uh, 11 support. And then simply click next. Next again. And hit run. Now the game will start launching. Okay, so for those who weren't able to get to that window, it's very simple. Click on Options, Preferences, and then click on Change for Video Driver. It's going to ask you if you want to restart Unreal Tournament, hit Yes. Now it shows up this window, just like before. Go to Show All Devices, which is very important. Now you can click on Direct 3D 11 Support, again hit Next. Sure, next, and run. And that's it. 
Make sure you change to the resolution that you want and the graphics that you want and don't forget to make sure the color depth is at 32-bit. Very important. 32-bit. Have fun!